you. Wait. Back at the compound. Look at that sky. Man. Time to make it happen, though. Right? I don't think that thing works. And a bit of copper right here. I got all stoked about the copper. Wow, look at the swamp. Not good. That's quite a bit of rain that we had, man. Look at that, about two and a half, three inches. Three inches. Oh, definitely three inches. That's a lot of water. That's all this place does is rain and rain and rain. But that's not always a totally bad thing, because one of them tubs right there could be used with a a pan. I don't know, I have to Google stuff so I can figure things out. Maybe a filter where the hole is at. You know, to catch rainwater, so put it up in an elevated position so that I could run a toilet off of it. <laughs> I don't know. Just some ideas. I wouldn't drink the water, but it would be suitable for suitable for a toilet, I suppose. Put holes in your buckets. I don't want holes in every bucket. I put holes in some of the buckets, but. I really don't want to do that to every bucket that I got. Wow. Then you won't have to drain the water. Yeah, well. I, ideally, I really shouldn't have so many buckets outside like this. They belong inside. Well, why aren't they? It's one guy, man. I've got a family and you know I can't just attend to this it's like I got I hate this you know like the trash that's something I really need to remain vigilant on is keeping the trash from becoming you know, mixed in with the scrap here. As I search for a decent and suitable bin to put these uh, cans in. See, there's like random trash in there, and eh, so inefficient. It's getting there slowly, though. Improving slowly, little by little, inch by inch. Inch by inch. We shall get there. I have no idea what the heck this thing is. It's something. Something I've never needed. <laughs> there's, there's so many things. There are so many things that I've never needed, I've never felt the need to buy, or what's even worse, 
I don't even, I'm not sure exactly what it, what its purpose is. Oh, surely you can't be that dumb, King. Yeah, yeah, actually. Take, for instance, that. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's some kind of filter thing. I don't need it. I know what this is, it's a speaker, but I've never, I've never actually wanted one or you actually used one. Look at that. Actually, it was a quality one. Made in USA. How old is that? It's a Japanese model made in, made in USA, but after I put my gnarly hands on them, they get, they got beat to crap, so they're, they're now worthless, it's other than scrap. That's all they are. Because shipping stuff in this scrap truck is not really, uh, it's not a hospitable environment to put, to put stuff that you might want to save. It's not really the best place. There's that junkyard mentality, you know? Very few things actually survive. Yeah, and somebody took my magnet. I had that big round magnet and it was on a string. And I'm such a dummy. I kept it on the outside of the truck. And, you know, that now that's something that really angers and frustrates me. Is a magnet is so important. And if I have to keep it inside the truck, it's one more thing to remember. So, yeah, it didn't even hide in the pocket there. It's, it's gone. I have to rip another microwave open. So I'm inconvenienced that way. So it's like you can't win. You keep it in the truck, it gets lost, or it's in danger of getting too close to the cell phone or some other magnetic strip, something or another. Yeah, it's. I like to keep the magnet super handy. Okay, so I'm missing two magnets. I had this little miniature one. It was really powerful. The only one left is this lame, this lame magnet. Super lame. Quite angry and frustrated. Having a clue as to what could have happened to it. Other than somebody swiped it because it's one of those things you don't think of looking for. And then when you need it, it's like, okay, where did the magnet go? You've got things everywhere, King. No wonder you can... Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so true. Things everywhere. Well, if I keep this out here long enough, the recharger won't be any good anymore. And the car won't be any good anymore either. Flood. Freaking flood. Flooded inside. Thinking maybe I mindlessly brought the magnet indoors, but apparently not. There you go, spare magnet. Oh, there's another magnet in here. Yeah, two magnets. I mean, you can't be without the magnet. I hate that. The door's open over there. Such bullshit. 
It's like my whole life I've been treated like steerage and the uh, Titanic. We don't want to hear about your life, King. Your videos are entertaining, but let's see some scrap. <laughs> True. Okay, I agree with it. All right. Line it up with more magnets. That's a bitch. It's inconvenient, you know? Did they get... Somebody decides, oh, magnet! Swipe. Gone. Okay, let's, let's connect the radio there. I know people say, oh, I see a lot of scrap, but there's also a lot of barrels and bins and um, there's a lot of high processing scrap, meaning the kind of scrap that takes a lot of work and a tremendous amount of time to, to make worth something like that radiator or stuff that I wanted to keep because allegedly I was going to sell it, such as that working air compressor. It still works, but, you know, the longer it stays outside, eventually. I, I also know why a lot of people go, ah, I see a lot of scrap there, you know, because a lot of people take in, like, like I watch some of these other channels, and they're not, I'm not ripping on them. They're not bad. I don't always comment, but, like, and I promote these channels, too. You know, I put them on my community page etc they're all good guys and stuff like Midwest TV well he must have a real job because he gets all like happy and stoked when he's got like 40 or 50 dollars worth of stuff ha 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 somebody Somebody here is watching the videos and they pull the drawer out. So much emotion around in this. I know, you know, you've got people who've been emotional on both sides of this and how this is going to be. I was going to disconnect the radio there. Mr. Cornyn. Sergeant at arms will restore order in the gallery. No. Some crazy left wing feminist. Sergeant at arms will restore order in the gallery. Some crazy left wing feminist. Bitching about the judge being elected or not elected, uh, appointed. Psychopaths. All right, where are they? Scrap. That's a sort of I was here type of thing. Ah, let's take the drawer out. We'll teach him a lesson that doesn't teach me anything. I don't learn lessons. Like, you're not going to unseenly teach me something by doing something. I'll just be like, what the fuck? Confront me so I can beat the hell out of you. They never do, though. They're afraid. You're a bully. <laughs> Doesn't teach me nothing. So, so, come on, mofo. Come to my face, man. Angry? It's like they're... Like they're angry, like, oh, you're one of the guys and you admitted it on your video. Ha, ah, we'll show you. Ha, ah, 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 well. 
You didn't show me nothing. <clears throat> Just don't let me catch you doing it. Because I'll... I'm the kind of person that will administer Islamic style justice. I will chop your hand off. <laughs> that seems like a fair sentence. You know, like the way they. The way uh, Muslims in uh, Saudi Arabia handle things. You know, for thieves, they get their hand cut off. Want to steal something from the store? <laughs> we'll cure you of that sticky finger syndrome. We'll just remove your hand. <laughs> oh, King, you're a psychopath. Ugh. Let's see, where was I? Oh, hacking frustrated. Let's see, missing magnets, sticky sing finger syndrome, and a missing drawer. Okay, but there's an air conditioner that appears. Like, these people do not show their face ever. Whether it's here or anywhere else, they don't show their face. They must be afraid. Anyway. Let's see. Let's get back to scrapping, all right? Well, it's your fault for having things outside. Shit, I can't even lock that damn thing up right in there. Those doors, those big doors, they, the owner took the lock off. Can't want to fiddle-faddle with the key anymore. I'm like, put the wall up then. You don't want to put a wall up. Oh, whatever. Guess I'm gonna have to build a wall. Build a wall out of cars! No, people will climb over the cars. That's not a wall. Cars are not. Somebody said, put some cars over there. People will walk over the cars to get to whatever it is they're trying to get to. That's that's like the shittiest uh, kind of wall you can make. <clears throat> and then somebody else is like, build pallets. And that's. takes a lot of space. And. You could you could just walk over the pallets, that's nothing. But a wall. Well you could see if somebody breached the wall. But the magnets didn't disappear here. They disappeared either when I was at the gas station or when it was just parked out in front of the house. But somebody came by and that was a really good magnet though too, the one they had on the string. I had this kind of string right here. One of those things that you get from the... Those are... Uh, treadmills? It's got like that... I don't even know what the hell that thing's for. But anywho... We're making the same mistake again! Yeah, I know. Well, what do you... Well, I, I don't want to put it inside the truck. So I guess I'll have to put it here. Which is... Once there's scrap in the truck, it's inconvenient. Put it under the truck. Yeah. yeah. Not so good, but... If I hit a big enough bump, it'll come off. I'm claiming. Yeah. Doesn't feel... Doesn't feel powerful enough. I mean, it is powerful. And there's like undercoating under the truck. So it just doesn't feel powerful enough, so I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Under the truck don't work. Maybe up on the roof, I don't know. Yeah. See, this is where I'm lazy, though. Know? I like things to be super convenient. Okay, because I, I hate, like, I know, you can find contradiction there. Okay, I like certain things to be really convenient. Okay, it's on the roof. So we'll see how that goes. 
<laughs> this is insanity, man. I'm not fair to myself. This is not good. So I was thinking about getting a, one of those big... Here, here's the thing, okay? One of those big uh, um, dumpsters, or the British call them skips. Not a... Not one that's like, you know, shaped like that, like the guy down there was kind of, because I'd fill that in a day and I, I wouldn't make any, they would charge too much. I would be losing money. I owe the junkyard money for coming out to get it. So, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not driving around looking for garbage <clears throat> and then needing to pay for it. But, uh, this one junkyard, Claims that they'll bring a, you know, I don't even know what size, how many yard. I, I never learned how to measure yards, but I guess a six foot pickup truck bed that's, I don't know, 50 something inches wide and the one and a half feet tall is, that's one and a half yards or cubic yards of, of material if it's filled from the floor to the to to the sill right there this is an eight foot bed so it's probably two cubic yards that's not counting the wood so if you counted the wood that adds four more cubic yards so that's a total of six cubic yards for a pickup truck and the dumpster I think it's 40 cubic yards because it's 8 feet tall and 22 feet long and uh, 8 feet wide I think or 7.5 feet wide one of those it's, it's wider than that box truck it's like that dump truck right there you know a dumpster so the other thing is, I need to put 10,000 pounds in it. That's five tons. 10,000 pounds into... Okay, so the dumpster is a little bit shorter than that box... The box on that box truck. Which is, that box is 24 feet. So their dumpsters are 22 feet. And the dumpster is a little bit taller than that box. And I cannot get 10,000 pounds into that. I've never, I've never gotten five tons into there. I, I'm sure it's possible. But you really got to pack it dense. I've gotten... I think the most I got in there was like 7,000 pounds. Which is... Uh, let's see. In the U-Haul, I got 7,700 pounds into the U-Haul. 7,700 pounds... That unfortunately, that was a couple of days before, <laughs> before the price went up, when, when the price was one hundred eighty dollars a ton, and uh, I don't know, like a day or two later, the price went up ten dollars. Wasn't that figure? So I lost like seventy five bucks on that, and that seventy five dollar loss would have paid for the U-Haul right there, mileage, gas. And rental fee, which was uh, sixty-four dollars, I think. I don't know. I forgot. I have to look at the paperwork. But I had the paperwork here. I thought I did, because I don't think people believe me. But I don't know. My daughter rented it, so it's under her name. Wherever it went. Yeah. I'll find it. Some other video. Anyway. Yeah, there's too much sensitive information on it. I'll have to block out some of the stuff. It's not under my name. I got some pallets going on here. I usually like to wait until I get about 70 or 80 dollars for the pallets before I make a run. Otherwise it's not worth the effort. And uh, with this, I think I'm going to hit the road boom 
go out there looking for more scrap. So I'm done taking a break. I gotta go check on my daughter. She's at home. There's a bag of trash. I should take that to the gas station. My wife was bitching. We don't have garbage pickup. I'm like, we're not, we're not part of the six-figure lifestyle. <laughs> She's like, normal people have garbage pickup. They go, normal people live the six-figure lifestyle. They go, you want to live the six-figure lifestyle, you better get a better job. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.